I think Tish is struggling. I eat beans from a can. Is that lorry going backwards? <laughs> There is one gripe about electric cars that people love to air. The range. That's right, go onto YouTube and you'll find a mass chorus of mileage anxiety. So today we thought we'd put their theory to the test, but in a slightly more unorthodox style. This is the Citroen EC4X. It has a range claim of 222 miles. You say it's not enough. But we say you can't even drive 222 miles before needing to stop for a pee break. So it's the car versus our bladders, but this is where things get interesting. Obviously, we could just not drink water, but that's not fair to our bodies or to a real life test. So the car will be running and we will still be drinking the exact amount that is recommended, which is exactly 2.2 litres. Look how monstrous these bottles of water are. It's bigger than my head. So <laughs> this is 2.2 litres. As you can see here, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and it goes all the way down to 8 p.m. So we're going to make sure we're drinking exactly what we need to be at the allotted times. Chug, chug, chug. Should we catch up to 10 a.m.? Because it's 10 a.m. Oh, now. God. Right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. post on Instagram and you guys delivered for where we should go with our road trip. So in our reach, one of you recommended a really great spot, Sheringham Park, which is in Norfolk, which by the way, is about a three to six hour drive, depending on traffic. This is gonna be a hell of a task. Let's go. So the setup for today is I've got regen mode on, I've got normal drive mode, and I think we should check how much water we need to be drinking right now. What time is it? 10.55, so right. 11, okay. which means, yeah, I'm about an hour behind. Oh God, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, have a sit now. Well, as far as journeys out of London go, that was pretty straightforward. I don't think I've ever left London so quickly. But before we kind of get into the rest of the journey, why don't we tell you a little bit more of the stats around the Citroen C4X? The EC4X is Citroen's latest electric offering. It has a 100 kilowatt motor that can deliver 136 horsepower and 260 newton meters of torque for a responsive drive. It comes with a 50 kilowatt hour battery delivering 222 miles of range and can be fast charged at 100 kilowatts to get 56 miles in only 10 minutes. The battery comes with an eight year warranty or 100,000 miles for 70% of its charging capacity. So you have got peace of mind. However, if that mileage doesn't sound enough, well, there's good news. A new larger 54 kilowatt hour battery upgrade has recently been launched so you can get up to 260 miles of range. Whose bladder is beating that? It's a comfortable, compact family car that also offers the ability to accessorize to fit it exactly to your needs. Choose from roof bars to secure your bike, to boxes for extra storage, as well as a tow bar for your adventures. Speaking of which, let's get back to ours. We actually asked our audience not that long ago if they could pinpoint some of their favorite charge points. I mean, this is definitely a part of the list today. It looks really beautiful. There were some other really cool places that you lot came up with as well. So there's one that a lot of people will probably know about already is Minette Theatre in Cornwall. Oh, okay, yeah, I went there last year actually. Oh, it's so beautiful there, isn't it? Is it is insane, incredible. And the fact that there's a charge point there, you just rock up, charge in, and then you can go watch some beautiful piece of theatre. Another really cool one, which is one that we found actually, is Strawberry Fields in Dartmoor. So you can go, you can plug in, they've got some charge points there, and you can go pick some strawberries. Oh, I love that. Another one, which was recommended by a viewer, I'm probably gonna butcher this, Kylikin. Apparently this charger has an amazing view, offers a beautiful view of the sky bridge over Loch Alch. Now, on the topic of national trust properties, this must be a bit of a theme. I think that they must have a charge point at most places because Waddesdon Manor in Buckinghamshire. So okay. It looks really pretty. Nice. Finally, Ballygally Castle Hotel <laughs> in Northern Ireland. Ballygally, that had to be, a great name. That had to be an Irish name, couldn't it? Ballygally. Apparently there's a beautiful castle hotel in Northern Ireland with a stunning view of the sea. As we're going to Norfolk, 
never guess what I packed. Flip flops. I was going to say sandals, but that's a bit late. Flip flops. <laughs> but like, I haven't given you a fair chance. You will literally never guess what I packed. It's probably the most rogue thing ever. What? Uh, crabbing lines. Crabbing. Oh my god, that's genius. So whenever I think of Norfolk, to me, and like holidays when I was younger, crabbing. This is like a dream come true. <laughs> It's officially 11 minutes past one and I really need a wee. Let's just stop wherever the next service station is. Okay. We've still got a hundred miles on the car or just under. So the car has well and truly beat the bladder. Fair play. Range has beat the bladder, which, you know, does prove point. Our proven. point. <laughs> Literally, point proven. <laughs> I've got a bit of a challenge for the Citroen. I reckon we should see how many miles we can gain in the time it takes us to pee. <laughs> That's genius. A few moments later. Just think of a desert. Dry things. Dry. Gandhi's flip flops. <laughs> oh, crack it. <laughs> Peanut butter on an oat okay. I, I say that coming from trying to be cheap at festivals and that'll be like a little snack. Only you would eat peanut butter and rice cakes at a festival. <laughs> I eat beans from a can. <laughs> Is that Laurie going backwards? Oh no. <laughs> We've eaten, we've peed, we've let this bad boy charge up a little bit. What are we saying? Well, literally 25 minutes. I'm gonna stop it now, because we're at 80%. Okay. 25 minutes, we've gained like 80 miles. That's actually decent. That's so good. I, was, I wasn't expecting that much, to be honest. And that just means that we can get straight on to our final destination. Don't need to worry about range. Go for a nice walk. Perfect, okay. right. Let's yeah. get back on the road to Sheringham. To Sheringham. Here we go, Sheringham Park. Oh, the birds are tweeting, the sun is shining. It's actually free, but you donate. That's really sweet. That's cool. Beautiful. Five seventy five for that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Five seventy five for two coffees and a not a salary, a feast. That's amazing. Well, I think we've proved a point today, haven't we, Tish? We have proved a point that we've got tiny bladders. <laughs> yeah, that. And also, you know, stay hydrated, but uh, make sure that you've got services in tow so you know where to stop when you do need to stop. Always have a backup. <laughs> always have a backup. So the point has obviously been proven that people always focus on that electric car range, but ultimately, if you're going on a trip, a day trip like today, you're always going to stop before the range has ended anyway. Yeah. So why are we so focused on it when at the end of the day, we only really need it to do half of that? Exactly, you're either gonna need to stop for a pee, stretch your legs, get something to eat, make a phone call. And all this time you can just top back up, like we proved. Exactly, and we've ended up at a beautiful, beautiful destination as well. I know, and I feel like we did it the perfect way because we got that charger, a fast charger, and that's just our backup, and this, it's just a bonus. I know, it's beautiful. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that journey. It was definitely painful and um, unorthodox, as we said at the start, but I had a good time. Yeah, I had a great time. It was really good. Well, look, we're going to sign off now because we are going to go do some more exploring because the sun is still out and we're going to make the most of it. So if you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give us a like. And what should we say? Until next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>